Hi everyone, Shell here, and today I'm sharing with you this beautiful chocolate covered strawberry bouquet that I made for Valentine's Day. And this is uh, really a gift that you can make for any occasion, Mother's Day, Easter, uh, for any strawberry lover in your life. So if you'd like to see how I made it, stick around and watch me put it together. So I'm starting here with some wet foam and you can see I'm just taking my base and just making the imprint from that rim in the top of the foam and then I'm going to shave down the sides of it and take off that excess foam that I won't need um, because I need this in more of a cylinder shape to go straight down into that base. And you guys, this adorable base I found at Publix for $4.99, which was awesome because it's hard to find purple for Valentine's Day. And then I've cut the top to make it even with the rim and using some of those extra pieces to fill in on the sides. And now for the next step in our preparation of everything, I have a roll of lavender mesh material and I am just um, pulling off about um, eight inches, maybe six to eight inches at a time and cutting that in square sheets. This is what I'm gonna be using for the filler in the bouquet. Now for the next part, my strawberries have been washed and cleaned and I am sticking them with a skewer and these are just, um, they were 12 inch food skewers, but I have actually cut them down to eight inches because I don't want them to be extremely tall. So what I'm doing here is just making sure my strawberries are good and dry and I am sticking those skewers into them just to prep them for dipping. And I also have a piece of white styrofoam you see there that I will be using to stand them up to allow that chocolate to set um, so that I can decorate them. And I have melted down some white chocolate and I actually used the uh, color violet Chef Master candy color to get to the purple um, shade that I wanted for these strawberries. So now I'm just dipping my strawberries and sticking them in the styrofoam so that we can let that chocolate set and do a little decor on them. And now that they're ready for the decor, I'm going to be using some of this purple diamond dust on them. And I am going to do a drizzle. And you can see here, I kind of started out with just using my spatula, but um, unfortunately my hands are just not steady enough for that. And I did not like the way it looked at all. So I am actually going to put my chocolate into a piping bag and just uh, snip the top so that um, I can get the, the nice uniform drizzle that I am used to. <laughs> so lesson learned there. So you can see here, I'm just doing a drizzle on each strawberry. And as I do the drizzle, I'm going behind, uh, directly behind that while it's wet and sprinkling some of that diamond dust on, um, on each one. So I'm gonna finish up these and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, so our strawberries are ready to place in our base. And you know, you guys, I am definitely not a florist, so I struggle a little bit with this part, but somehow I managed to get them to look nice. But I just go around starting in the center and kind of place them um, coming out from the center. And you know, with this one, I am, because it, it is a pretty good size vase, there is a dozen strawberries in here, but I am also going to insert a few of these Ferrero Rocher candies. Um, I am going to also put them on a skewer as well and just kind of use them as a filler. Um, you'll see here in just a minute when I put those in there. But of course, you see, I did move the strawberries around a little bit. I kind of placed them and then adjusted them um, just to get that look, you know, that I'm going for there. I don't want them to be too wide or sticking out too far, but, um, you know, at the same time, I don't want them to be too close together as well. So you see here now I'm cutting a few more of the, my skewers down um, for the candies that are going in there. So I'm gonna get the candies on here and I'm just gonna use about four of these. And like I said, I'm gonna use them as a filler um, in and around those strawberries. And I really like the way it, that it turned out with the candy in it. Now, um, we're gonna go back to our mesh that we cut out earlier 
and I am going to take these pieces to use as a filler on top of that wet foam and the way you will do that is just take the end of your skewer and you want to take the flat end not the pointy end and just put a piece over the end you just fold it over with the skewer in the center and just kind of twist it a little bit and then you'll push it into the wet foam and then pull the skewer back out and I'm so sorry you guys that it was I was had the camera so far down when I was doing this part I just didn't really realize that I had moved so much closer to the edge with the bouquet um, but you can see here like I said you just fold it over the end and then stick it into the wet foam and I always start with the center and come outward and sometimes you'll just need to use your hand and just hold that mesh up out of the way as you're putting in you know your additional pieces but you just want to follow this process all the way around um, several times until you have your mesh all the way to the edge of the rim and you can't see any more of that foam showing and when I get to the rim I kind of like to push it in at an angle just so the mesh falls over the top of the rim and kind of points outward uh, I just think this gives a ni nicer fuller look to the uh, mesh filling so I'm gonna go ahead and get this part finished up and I will tell you because you're not going to see this part in the video but you will see it at the end of the video what I like to do is take a square piece of cellophane wrapping paper uh, just a clear cellophane and put it down and put the vase in the center and I like to bring it up around the vase and I just use a rubber band I bring a rubber band up around that um, and put it right at the rim so that it holds that cellophane up around the bouquet and this way if you get any um, leaking or anything from your strawberries you don't have to worry about it you know getting on anything that your bouquet may be sitting on and it just kind of serves as an added piece of protection for your bouquet okay everyone so our bouquet is complete and here you can see the cellophane that I was telling you about earlier let me know what you think about this in the comments and if you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you'll be notified when I upload more videos in the future thank you so much for your support and I'll see you next time